Hi guys, today I'm going to share with you on my recipe for a gluten-free paratha roti. This can also be used to make dalbury roti. So in my bowl, I have two cups of this Filsbury gluten-free all-purpose flour blend. I'm going to go in with two tablespoons of lupin flour or miracle flour, some almond flour, some coconut flour, psyllium husk, brown sugar, and gluten-free baking powder. Guys, remember to check the pack and make sure it says gluten-free. Mix it to combine and then go in with hot water to bring this together to form a soft dough. Once it comes together, continue kneading it until it comes together to form a bowl. You want this dough to be a little bit on the wet side because as it sits, it will dry out. Form it into a dough ball, cover with a damp paper towel and allow it to rest for 10 minutes. After which, you'll go ahead and break it into 8 small dough balls. Once you've breaked out the dough balls, keep it covered with a damp paper towel. Next, combine the butter and the Crisco. On a piece of plastic wrap, we're going to open out our dough one at a time. Make sure and flour it and cover with another piece of plastic wrap and then roll out each piece until it's very thin. You want to set the first piece aside and then you'll open out a second piece. So to the second piece, brush it with that Crisco and butter mixture. And then take that first piece, place it over it, and brush that top of that first piece with some more butter mixture. Roll this into a log, and be very gentle when you're rolling it, because it will break apart. And then form it into a spiral shape. Now all you have to do is continue doing this for the rest of the dough. Once you finish making all of them, you're going to set them aside, cover it with a damp paper towel and let them rest for about 15 minutes. Now let's roll out our roti. Roll out this again in between two pieces of plastic wrap. We want to roll it out as thin as possible. Remember to pay attention and roll more on the ends because you want nice thin ends, you don't want this to be thick. Place it on your greased or oil griddle or tower. Brush lightly with some oil. Cook for 2 minutes and then flip. Be very gentle. Brush lightly again the other side and continue to cook this roti on a medium heat until it's brown on both sides. You'll notice as you're cooking the roti and you keep flipping it, it will start to break apart and that's okay. After all, we're making bus up shot, right? To get the ends to cook, all you have to do is pull it to the center of the tower. Once it has a nice brown color, the roti is now ready to be served. So I hope you guys enjoyed this roti. By using two pieces of dough, we created those layers. So make this, let me know down below if you like it. Please remember to check out my gluten-free dal priority and I'll see you in my next video.